All right, welcome back to PC Building Simulator Free Build Mode. This is going to be Free Build Extreme Episode 9. I am your host, JVN. I run the YouTube channel, JVN Gaming, and I play a lot of PC Building Simulator. We've gotten to do eight episodes now of Free Build Extreme, where I go into Free Build Mode and we build something extreme. We build something like this. The, none of these have actually been in Free Build Extreme, so, um, but you know, computers like this, we might build a super RGB PC. We'll build um, a themed PC. We've done a bunch of stuff. We've done a small form factor. Uh, we've done over the top spec'd out. Out. We've done it all. Well, not really. We haven't done it all but because we're gonna do something different today that we haven't done It's not gonna look like any of these. It's not gonna look like this beautiful little thing here It's not gonna look like this gigantic uh, PC built in the ROG Strix Helios. It's not gonna be like this little aquarium down here It's gonna be something much more understated. This is going to be a sleeper PC uh, So by sleeper PC we mean it's not going to really look like anything It's gonna look like a pretty boring run-of-the-mill computer, but on the inside It's going to be not run-of-the-mill at all. So uh, the case is gonna dictate heavily what we do here So let's dive right in and let's check out cases. Uh, we've got a lot of cool cases in PC building simulator We're not really looking for a cool case today. We're looking for a case that's at least big enough to do some stuff and has enough expandability to do some stuff um, but doesn't look doesn't look like much, and uh, maybe the boss wouldn't notice if we brought this into our workstation and we were working. Air quotes. I'm air quoting right now. You can't see it, but I'm doing it. Uh, so we've got a bunch of cool cases. Obviously, a lot of these are not going to cut it. There's some in here that are more simple, like Be Quiet's got some solid panel side, uh, solid side panel designs that are close. They're they're big. You can tell there's some beefier cooling in them. I want to go even more understated, which is why we're going to go with a case from Silverstone. It is the PS14. There's a blackened window, but we don't want that. We want the old solid side panel. Now look at this, this is a mid tower. It is, I mean, if that doesn't look like that belongs in your, uh, in like your, your normal office or like on your campus, I mean, that looks like the most boring computer I've ever seen. It looks, it looks terrible. Uh, I will say the one thing that we're going to sacrifice here with this is the airflow is going to be questionable. Uh, we'll see how we make it on the temperatures later. Now, let's start pulling it apart so we can pull off, off obviously both these side panels. It does have a standard case layout, nothing weird, nothing like a power supply shroud up high. Though there is an optical drive slot up here, uh, but luckily we can remove that, which is going to be really helpful because we are going to do full custom loop, loop water cooling in this sleeper PC. Why? Because we can. That's why we're going to do it. We're going to remove this one included rear fan, and now we got the case completely stripped down. You can actually also remove this uh, power supply shroud. You can remove the drive bays, which is cool. There's no, it's not really going to help us to do that, so we're not going to do that. Unfortunately, we can't get a bigger radiator by doing that. Uh, we're going to be limited to a 280 rad in this, but we're going to do it anyway. It's going to be fun. So let's get into our actual part selection. So for motherboard, um, now, if we go to some that don't fit, first of all, one of the cool motherboards I wanted to put in this case uh, that came in the 1.13 update is a new, not X570, uh, what, um, Mm, Intel. Um, wow, why can't I think of what your chipset is? I just built this. Uh, 690, 590, geez, okay, 590. We don't have 690s in the game yet. They just released in real life super recently. Um, I wanted to put this one. This is a new one in 1.13, the Gigabyte Z590 Aorus Extreme Water Force. It's our second now, our second uh, full water block cooling the CPU and the VRMs on a motherboard in the game. Our first one was this one right here, the MSI MPG Z590 Carbon EKX. So both of them are Z590 boards, both of them are gonna be 11th gen Intel um, boards. But this one is an EATX and will not fit because it is simply too wide. So because of that, we're going to go with the Z590 Carbon EKX because I want to do full water block because it's the ultimate sleeper. So let's sleep it up by putting a ridiculous motherboard in here. I can't believe this motherboard is only $510. It's actually kind of impressive. So we're going to remove that CPU block and now we can see our CPU socket, which we can open up and get our CPU installed. Like I said, 11th gen Intel is gonna be what we're going with here. And we're gonna go for the tippity tippity top, the 11900KF. That is the uh, the iGPU-less version of the i9-11900K. Uh, should be capable of the best clocks, best overclocking, and so that's what we're gonna go with it. Uh, all right, let's get 
some of these drive bays open. We have actually a ton of capacity for drives. And um, I'm gonna continue to go with my favorite PCIe Gen 4 drive, which is this Viper VP4100, the two terabyte. So by doing that, we are going to be able to get six terabytes of PCIe Gen 4 storage in here. And it just ain't gonna look like anything. That was the, that was the wrong one. There you go. It's just not, I mean, we're, it doesn't even look like anything. It looks like absolutely nothing's even happening here. Um, we actually also could do a couple two and a half inch SSDs around back. So let's do it because we can, because it's a sleeper PC and we're going over the top, but it's not gonna look like it. Um, and as far as our options here, I don't think there's any two terabytes, but there are one terabytes. We don't really need any fancy RGB on these. Let's just do these T-Force Vulcans. I'm just gonna search for them so that I can pull up the second one easily. There we go. We've got our auto cable tool. I don't know if I want to go with white cables though. So let's maybe, let's maybe back that down, white cable, white cables. Uh, maybe we'll just do black. I mean, I feel like I want this to look sleepy even on the inside. I kind of want it to look sleepy. I've done I've done sub sleeper PCs before where it's like I make them all RGB and super crazy, but you can kind of see it through the back, and, and you will see that shortly. And uh, so we're, we're gonna maybe not go for that this time. Uh, power supplies, we can just go for it. We can just send it here. Uh, we have enough room to actually get one of these very large 1600 watt power supplies. Not the absolute largest. There are a couple that are too large to fit, but still these very large 1600 watt ones will fit, which is cool. There's actually a little bit of cable management um, room there. Thank you, Silverstone. That's very nice. You would not get that from like a, like Dell's cases or anything. You'd also have some like really weird non-standard layout and yeah, it's, it's sometimes not non-standard like pins on the motherboard. It's it's actually pretty annoying. Uh, let's get our water block installed back onto this. This just goes right into our inventory once we remove it, and there it is, our full cover water block. Very cool. Let's get some memory going. And we are going to go fast, 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 fast. I actually want to see really quick. Um, what's our max speed? Five. Okay, cool. We are not, the motherboard is not going to be holding us back. Uh, let's go for 4,800 megahertz Triton Z RGB. That is still the fastest RAM in the game. Pretty ridiculous. I know we got DDR5 is starting to sort of appear in real life now. That's going to become a thing, and I'm sure it'll be I'm sure it'll be in PC building simulator before you know it. Um, but for this, we're going to stick with old DDR4, but very fast DDR4. Now, graphics cards. Like I said, we're doing full water loop, so this gives us a great op opportunity to use our brand new uh, water cooled RTX 3090 from Zotac that we just got in the in the 1.13 update. I've not used this yet. Pretty cool. Let's get that in here. And there it is. Live to game underscore. Okay, Zotac, whatever you say. And there's just a random power boost. Okay, cool. It's an interesting backplate and design. Not bad. It'd be kind of cool to get a vertical GPU uh, mount, but you know, maybe not. Maybe not this case. Now, the big question here um, is. Reservoir. Reservoir is always the trickiest part of doing water cooling in cases that maybe aren't super made for it. Um, we can do it, we just have to use this rear fan mount, which is too bad because we could use that fan because I feel like this is gonna be a little bit of a hot box, um, but we're gonna roll with it anyway because it's fun. Oh wow, the, uh, the, the actual fittings on this GPU are pretty interesting. I'm curious how that's gonna work. Uh, all right, let's get our radiator in as well while we're in here doing custom water cooling. Like I said, two, A280 rad is going to be the biggest we can do. Um, we're at 240 rad. Ooh, we could do a 240. We could do the 240D because I think that's a thick boy. Ooh, actually, is it a thick boy? I can't remember. Let's look. Is this a thick boy? Oh, this is a thick boy. It'll be RGB, but the added thickness could help our temperatures. So let's do that. Let's do that. Dude, that is just the fattest radiator. Oh my gosh. Uh, Ryzen Tech is the only one that has those big fat radiators in the game. So we're going to use that. And hopefully that helps our temperatures. I don't know if it will. But theoretically, maybe. Maybe it will help. Maybe, maybe, possibly, hopefully. I hope, I hope, I hope. Uh, but you can see that this is going to be a case that's going to struggle a little bit for airflow. But such is the cost of, you know taking my gaming PC to work and gaming on my brakes? I don't know. 
while I work? You know, who knows? I'm not sure. Uh, okay, let's plumb it up here. We're just going to do flexible tubing because we're not trying to look like anything crazy. Uh, we can just do some pretty standard black fittings. And let's just get all of this ran. So I'm going to go here, down to here. We're going to go up and out into our reservoir, from our reservoir into our CPU block, and from our CPU block back to our mm, radiator. Nice. Real simple loop. Flexible tubing just makes that so easy. Uh, I love it. It's actually, I like how understated this is. Um, and I think I'm not going to turn G, I don't think I'm going to turn RGB on at all. I think I'm just going to turn it all off. And we're going to go clear coolant because I'm not trying to make this look like anything crazy. Granted, if you open the side panel, you'd be like, what, what has happened? What is going on? What kind of work are we doing? Um, but we're just going to hope that no one opens the side panel for this because it's a sleeper. All right. So that should be everything we need in the computer now so let's just get our usb drive in here and power it on uh, let's also jump into bios really quick and get our ram set to our uh, our overclock here 4.8 gigahertz ridiculous super fast ram uh, and then we should be able to boot our os nice we can install some programs i'm gonna get some programs installed we're gonna do a little bit of testing and i'll check back in uh, and we'll see how temperatures are doing and we'll maybe play with RGB a little bit. All right, so for 3D Mark here, we've got a 17,374, 18,028 on the graphics on that RTX 3090 from Zotac, water cooled, and 14,414 on the CPU. So uh, the performance is definitely there. Now, what is not so much there is the cooling. Oh, oh boy. Uh, we are running an infinite test on OCT and we are running at almost 93C on the CPU uh, and a almost 79 degrees on the GPU. The 79 degrees isn't so, so bad. It's still pretty dang hot for a water cooled graphics card, uh, but the CPU is pretty toasty. So that is kind of the downside of having a single 240 rad here it is a thick boy rad um and i did do this with a 280 rad too just to see and it was basically the exact same performance i did with a 280 be quiet rad and it was the exact same deal so we really just we really could use another radiator it's too bad that this doesn't have a perforated top or something um that would have really helped to have another radiator up here but yeah it's a little warm but it works, you know, it's it's okay, it's all right. Nobody, nobody has to know. Now, as far as the RGB, I kind of told you, I think I'm just gonna turn it off. Cause, well, here, we can we can show it with full rainbow. Let's, let's just, you know, it could have been this. Now, of course, if we do that, you're gonna see a lot through the back. We didn't do an RGB uh, reservoir at least, but you would see a lot um, even through kind of this rear IO section and the rear fan. Um, you would see quite a bit. So for that reason, we're gonna turn it off because I don't want anybody to know. I'm not taking any chances here with my sleeper PC. I don't want anyone to think twice about my super cool office PC. Simple. It looks like nothing. It's nothing. Don't worry, boss. I'm just, I'm just working. I'm just working hard. So there you go. My take on a sleeper PC built in PC Building Simulator's free build mode. Um, hopefully you enjoyed. If you didn't join, you will see more videos of PC Building Simulator free build extreme. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the official PC Building Simulator YouTube channel. Once again, I've been your host, JVN. I run the YouTube channel, JVN Gaming. You can check out my channel. Uh, the link is down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. See you.